Today we got a question from Ryan who has been training for about 15 years. I believe he's a purple belt or a brown belt. And he says that he is embarrassed by his ability to get arm bars from off of his back. He says that off of his back he's not very good at getting arm bars. And he says recently he's been rolling with guys where he can see the arm is there, but he can't get the submission. And he's embarrassed by it. And he sent me a couple messages. One was that, like, Chewy, does your game feel like garbage sometimes? And then the second question was, is there any tips on how to break this armbar slump so that he could get better with his arm bars off of his back? So, Ryan, thanks for the question, brother. And uh, to answer your first question real quick, does my game feel like garbage? Of course it does. Of course it feels like garbage sometimes. Some days I have good days and some days I have bad days. But the trick is I never really care about how that day goes. If I trained, that was good enough. What I really look at with my training is how does it look like you know, when I pull back a little bit, it's like if you were looking at like the stock price, it may go up or down today, but if we pull back, what does it do over the course of like three years, two years, one year, whatever, right? How does it, what does it look like there? Is it trending upward or is it trending downward? That's kind of what I'm looking back. I'm thinking about like, how have I been doing, you know, for a long period of time? And usually if I'm training consistently, it's going upwards, even if I'm having a bad day sometimes, right? Now, as far as your armbar slump, this is just me, bro. Anytime I've had a, a hole in my game, an area where I had a weakness, it really came down to I just didn't give it any attention. I didn't focus on it much. Now, again, we always have to balance this because we can't be good everywhere in jiu-jitsu, right? There's always trade-offs. I think it was Thomas Sowell that said that, right? There's no there's no solutions. There's only trade-offs, right? And uh, I think it's beautiful. But I think one of the ideas is as far as um, your game, if you move into one area of your game and you build it up to, let's say, level five, right? Well, when you go away to move on to another area of your game, that it's going to drop a little bit. It'll never go bottom out back down to where it was, but it'll still get worse. And so you're always kind of playing this balancing act and you cannot master everything in jiu-jitsu. You have to sort of keep it within reason, right? But that said, if there's an area of your game that you want to get better and you want to develop and you want to break this slump, then the idea that I'll share with you that's been really useful to me, I think is a simple one that you can put into practice. And so here's the idea. A lot of times when we work on our weaknesses in jiu-jitsu, it's almost like dieting in a way right? Let's say that you have a person that really struggles not to eat fast food, greasy food, all that stuff, stuff that comes wrapped up in plastic, you know, food that's not good for us, that we know is not good for us, that's going to kill us, like, you know, kill us sooner, all that stuff, right? Well, especially, well, let me take that back, when you eat it in mass quantities, a little bit of whatever's fine, right, in moderation. But when you're eating too much of that stuff, well, that person, if they do not pre-commit to making a better decision, they're less likely to ha have that happen for them to actually improve, right? So let's say, for instance, if all of a sudden they're at a restaurant and they're faced with a choice, they're super hungry, and they're faced with the choice of a big greasy burger that they love eating or chicken and rice, probably going to eat the burger, right? But if that person pre-commits to saying, you know what, if I go to the restaurant, I'm going to eat the chicken and rice today. I don't care how hungry I am, I'm going to eat that. They're more likely to do that. They're more likely to eat the chicken and rice. And they've done some studies where they've shown where people who where they pre-commit to doing something, if they pre-commit before, if they pre-commit to doing something difficult, opposed to not doing it, the people that pre-commit were more likely to delay gratification for a longer period of time and to actually do what they intended to do. And so you can think about this with jujitsu. A lot of times, our working on our weaker areas isn't fun. Right, because like you, you said you're, you're getting your guard passed when you went for the arm bar, right? So a lot of times, what we do is we treat it just like that greasy burger. We say, you know, I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to what I normally do. I'm gonna screw this arm bar stuff. I'm gonna go play half guard. And so it's very hard for people to fully commit to it. I know that years ago, I was working on. It's an example I've shared numerous times on this channel, where I was working on a particular sweep. Uh, it was a flower sweep. And I remember like I wasn't good at using that sweep for whatever reason. I just never developed it, never played with it. And I forced myself to use that sweep. And literally I committed. Every single day I was like, I'm using the sweep. And I'm not going to use any other sweep until I get this darn thing. So every day during rolling, I'd go for the sweep. I would usually get my guard passed at some point. I'd get submitted or something. But eventually, but towards a couple weeks in, three weeks in, I started hitting the damn sweep all over the place. And then I was like, I remember there was one day I was... Like I, I hit one of the black belts with it. And I was like, huh, that worked. And then I was like, all of a sudden going to all the brown belts and the black belts and the tough purple belts. I'm like, I want to try this on all the tough guys. And I hit it on several of them, right? And that was like, it finally clicked. 
And so for you, my encouragement to you, my idea to you, is that you have to pre-commit to actually working on this weak area of your game. More than likely, you just haven't given it much love over the years because it probably didn't come naturally to you, didn't come easy to you, and it's going to be difficult. Just like the person that struggles with diet, they don't naturally want to eat certain things, well, they have to pre-commit to like prepping their food and doing the right things and making sure that they have a plan when they go to the restaurant to not eat the crap food, right? You've got to do the same thing with your training. You've got to say, you know what, when I go into the gym, I'm not doing anything else but arm bars. And if I get my guard passed, who gives a damn? Because I'm working on something very specific right now. And if I don't do this, it's not going to get any better. And then you, once you do that, you can then get into things like techniques and start going down the rabbit hole in different arm bars. But again, if you're not pushing yourself into that area, it's just not going to happen. And more than likely, I imagine you've been training for 15 years. You probably have plenty of techniques you can do from the position to get an arm bar. You just haven't given yourself enough time in that position and enough focus to actually work on it. And so... That would be my idea to you, Ryan, is to pre-commit to that area of your game, pre-commit to doing it. I don't care how difficult it gets. I don't care how many times your guard gets passed. Make yourself do those damn arm bars. And I guarantee you in about a month or so, maybe sooner, you're gonna start, it's gonna start clicking a lot more. All of a sudden you're gonna like start realizing you're catching arm bars and you're not even having to think about it like before because that's what you're hunting. You're after that one thing and you're pushing yourself to do that one thing and you're focused. So anyway, that's the idea, Ryan. Hopefully that helps you, brother. I'll talk to you guys next time.